What's up guys, thanks for joining us for week two in the game plan. We are checking out the game plan that God had for some awesome people in the Bible. Now, when Mordecai heard about Haman's plans to destroy the Jews, he was so upset that the Bible says he wept loudly outside the king's gate. When Esther's servants told her that Mordecai was crying, he was so upset, she told him, go ask Mordecai why he's so upset. So Esther's servants go down, they talk to Mordecai, and Mordecai tells them what's going on. He told them all about Haman's plans to destroy the Jews. The only way, the only way that they could be saved was if Esther would go into the presence of the king and plead to save the lives of her people. There was only one problem. If any man or woman approached the king while he was in his inner court without being summoned, they would be put to death. To death. The only exception was if the king, when they approached him, if he extend, extended his arm holding his gold scepter. That was the only exception that they would not be put to death. Esther was so scared, but she was freaking out. I mean, she probably went in circles for days going on about this decision. I mean, she was going to have to risk her life to save her people. So Esther decided that after a period of three days of prayer and fasting that she would go into the king's presence. This was a tough thing to do. So she prayed and she fasted. And she probably went on and on about this decision. She was risking her life. She, the third day came, she put on her royal robes and she went and she stood in the inner court. As she stood there staring at the king, what was he gonna do? She didn't know. She stood there just staring at him, probably sweat dripping down her face, so nervous, and, and he started to move. She looked a little closer and the, the king had extended his arm, holding his gold scepter. And after the king realized you know, what was going on, that his queen had, had approached him in his inner court. He said, what is it that you want? What can I give you? Even up to half of my kingdom, I will give anything to you. And she gave him this simple request. She said, I want you and Haman to come over to my house for dinner tonight. So over the course of the next three nights, Esther told the king what Haman's plans were. She told him about Haman's plans to destroy her people. Now, obviously the king didn't like this, and, and when he heard this come out of Esther's mouth, he left the palace in an outrage. I mean, he was so upset. And when the king left, Haman got down on his hands and knees, and he begged and he pleaded Esther for his life. Because he knew exactly what was gonna happen. Well, the king wasn't going to have Haman put an end to his queen's people. So the king put a stop to Haman's plans. So Haman was removed from his position, and he was replaced by Mordecai, Esther's cousin. All this to say, there is power in love. Yes, God had his timing by placing Esther's queen over these people. But Esther had a choice. Did she love her people enough? Did she love God enough? Did she love God's game plan for her life enough that she was willing to risk her own life to save her people? The answer is yes. And I hope your answer is yes. I hope that you love God and his game plan for your life enough that when you're faced with tough situations, you'll know exactly what to do.